So I, I know many of you think that the reason I did not run for a third term is that the U.S. Constitution prohibits it, but it was actually Michelle more than anything else that dissuaded me. How about a, an appointment to the Canadian Senate? <laughs> we can make that happen. Well, you know, it's uh, maybe just in July. President Barack Obama spent close to an hour and a half talking to a sold-out crowd of 13,500 people at Bell MTS Place. <laughs> Cameras weren't allowed inside, but the 44th President of the United States shared inspiring messages of unity and hope for a more inclusive world. Winnipeg was just one stop on President Obama's tour. Up next, he'll be in Calgary and then on to Vancouver. And Bamukin, Global News. Our captain is from Winnipeg, Mr. Taves. So Thank you, Winnipeg, for that great gift to the city of Chicago. Mr. President, when you come out on stage like you just did, and you get that kind of response, do you ever think to yourself, you know, maybe I should come to Canada and run for office here? <laughs> come to Canada and run for office here. Michelle Obama to explain why that will not happen, but we got four more years coming up right here in Jersey. Uh, if, if I ever said to Michelle I was running for dog catcher again, <laughs> my marriage would be over. Meet up in a diner and yeah. then he had to get his powers back yes. to come save us from Lex Luthor. <laughs> That's what we need from what? you and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's this thing called the Constitution. Oh, we've dispensed with that already, haven't right. we? <laughs> I will refer you both to the Constitution as well as to Michelle Obama. So I, I know many of you think that the reason I did not run for a third term is that the U.S. Constitution prohibits it, but it was actually Michelle more than anything else that dissuaded me. to the Canadian Senate. <laughs> we can make that happen. Well, you know, it's uh, maybe just in July. Maybe just in July. You had, I think, what most people would describe as a pretty unique childhood. Uh, you were born in Honolulu. Yeah. You were raised by... Allegedly. A <laughs> you were born in Honolulu. Yeah. You were raised by... Allegedly. A <laughs> Born in Kenya. Was born in Kenya. Was born in Kenya. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a riband of blue, riband of blue, riband of blue, riband of blue, riband of blue. Now what is also true? I, I told you, I, I believe in science. Here's the science. Uh, it is indisputable that the planet's getting warm. I want to talk about changing the world. I remember 
sitting down with Bill in Paris a couple of years ago, where the world was coming together to hammer out an agreement, a small agreement to save the planet. Uh, by taking meaningful action to tackle climate change. Uh, by taking meaningful action to tackle climate change. At the current pace that we are on, the scale of tragedy that will consume humanity uh, is something we have not seen. Um, in perhaps recorded history if we don't do something about it. Obama, man. A conversation with Barack Obama. You felt he was talking to you and not thousands of people in the group. It was really well worth it. People flooding out of Bell MTS Place were both grateful and thrilled the former U.S. president made the trip to Winnipeg. He's probably never even heard of us, but he's willing to come here, give us an amazing speech, inspire us. Like, he inspired me, my goodness. I had to use all my self-control to not run up the aisle and shake his hand. There was lots to take away from the hour-long speech. We talked a lot about the young people and how... Uh, the young people are going to help to change the world in a positive way. He didn't really discuss a lot of like current events, but uh, it was a lot of reflection on his time as president. I thought it was great. Even kids enjoyed their time with the former president. He makes funny jokes and he's a really good talker. True North is telling us tonight's event sold tickets faster than any event held here in Winnipeg since Metallica in September of 2018. He's the people's president, that's what he is. It's an experience people will be talking about for quite some time. Kudos to the people who brought him here, thank you. meaningful action to tackle climate change. Change has come to America. You will never see it coming. We are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. I'm joking. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 